Welcome everyone to another episode of Subnautica Below Zero. We do have a fresh update, and as you can see here, I already have stuff popping up saying I got something new. So we go blueprints, we've got a bunch of new things kind of showing there. Of course, stuff I haven't actually looked at. I always forget to look at this. But we've got things like scanner room upgrades, hull reinforcement, stuff like that, unlocking. And of course, as people have mentioned, battery charger, power cell charger are part of the game now. We also have some other new things, which unfortunately I do not have available yet but we do have a moon pool and we've got well you know those right there we do have our new c truck and i'm assuming that because i don't have it just automatically unlocked i have to go looking for it and since one of the biomes the twisted trees uh biome got some love with this update i have a feeling i need to head there first ah so we've got something here c truck fragment okay so at least, uh, you know, it's a normal scan, kind of like the sea moth to unlock everything. And that means I'm going to have more fragments here. And if it's basically replacing the sea moth or possibly replacing the cyclops or acting as an interim uh, design, we're probably going to have the mobile vehicle bay somewhere around here. Oh, yeah, my buddy's the crash fish. I hear you. I hear you, buddy. All right, I know there's another fragment back over there, but I got a brute shark kind of, you know, close behind me. We kind of want to avoid him. Uh, sea truck fragment. Okay, so I've got sea truck unlocked. Guaranteed I need something else, though, like a mobile vehicle bay. Oh, and the data box is reset. I've been to this one. And it's reset, so the update apparently probably reset everything. That means I probably will find the same PDAs and, you know, data, downloads, all that reset again back at the other locations. Oh, hey, uh, precursor technology. Let's see if it's reset my count on that. 15 out of 50, so uh, maybe that's a new one, or maybe it's just one I didn't get before at one point. And oh yay, we've got a lot more depth here now. Also a lot more lag. I'm getting more stuttering now in the game. But that's probably, you know, something they'll be working on. Especially with new sections of this being updated. Oh yeah, we're definitely in the new biome area. This is the, like, the red vine area I saw in some of the pictures. Oh, oh, we got the big guy. Squish shark, sea truck fragment. Okay, I don't need that, but I need you. I want to get you. Come on. You are big, but not Reaper Leviathan big, which is a good thing. Ow, ow, ow. Something's attacking me, and I don't know what. Like, seriously, something bit me twice. Or I got like a, you know, ow kind of thing and glass cracking. Uh, so either I'm like taking a negative effect from pressure now. Oh, or it could be that thing. Oh, get off me. What was that? Oh, that's not good. And you're holding me in place for the squid shark. Oh, sea truck fragment. And a mobile vehicle bay fragment. So yeah, that's right. I've got to get a mobile vehicle bay unlocked. And uh, that means I've got to find two more scans for it. I did not see any of those way down deep. So I'm assuming I've got to find it elsewhere. Plenty of sea truck fragments everywhere, but I'm not finding anything in terms of the uh, you know mobile vehicle bay fragments anywhere else. So uh, that seems like a bit imbalanced, but of course, same time, original Subnautica find tons of sea ball stuff everywhere, and there are certain places you would only find the mobile vehicle bay. Well, there's two now. Oh, yes, and look at that. All close together. That does make it a little bit easier. So, since I do have a way to build the uh, sea truck, as it's being called right now, I probably need to go ahead and get a moon pool set up as well because I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna be able to just charge it by parking it next to the you know multi-purpose room and it's probably a good idea for me to go ahead and migrate stuff into a new base anyway I really don't have room over here with that one 
really just not a great place to build anything right here. But we're going to go ahead and make a moon pool right there, just at the surface level, nice and high. I can move my solar panels over to it and then uh, start migrating all of my storage out and into a new multi-purpose room. And since I do have to make a power cell in order to make the mobile vehicle bay, I'm using my two low powered batteries right now. And that way I'm just sacrificing those, getting brand new fully charged batteries going. And we've got our mobile vehicle bay, so let's get it going. And I'm going to just, you know, we'll put it right up here, right on the surface. There we go. And you can just stay up here for now. I'm actually low on titanium now. I haven't been stockpiling that much because I didn't know what I would need. So five advanced wiring kits. I might actually have enough for that. Possibly glass, lead, lead could be questionable, titanium. And, all right, so let's go. So I have enough silver for like two wiring kits right now. I've got enough gold for everything, but I'm missing the computer chips. So I'll need 10 table coral samples and I've got a lot of copper. So I'm pretty sure I've got the copper wire covered and I do actually have gold of uh, quartz, plenty of quartz, a full container of quartz for making the glass. So I've got that covered. It's really going to be I'm getting the table coral samples, which I'm going to have to go out there and find them. I know where there are some. And then, of course, I've got to find some more lead. I'm actually short on lead right now. And I'm short on six silver for three more wiring kits. Oh, sea monkey. We got a new creature, too. Besides, Oh, hey, hey, you. Ah. Give me that back. Give me my scanning tool. I'm going to cut you. I'm cutting you. But don't tell me that they can't die. I mean, he's doing... He's... There we go. Hey, they didn't like... He didn't want his buddy scanned. Where are you going? Now, I did hear that they have, like, nest. And they'll carry stuff back. So if you follow them, you're supposed to be able to find... Maybe a good stockpile of supplies. But I don't want to waste time on that right now. I need to get other stuff going. Ooh, sea monkey nest roof. So apparently I just stumbled across the sea monkey nest. They're swimming around looking for resources. So I'm setting up a new multi-purpose room attached to the moon pool with three solar panels because that's the only power option we have right now. So that should get me at least enough power going. And while that's deep, that's a little bit deeper. That's definitely deep enough. I'm going to put my hatch over on this side and I need more titanium again and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start working so it'll make it easier for me I'm thinking because this is shallow we'll come off of here with a scanner room haha <laughs> all right table coral samples enough yes oh, let's eat that now I have to go back let me just see if there's anything else I might need right here so I've got a weird thing happening with my table coral samples now. Uh, it's dropping them even when I pick them up. So I picked up another four because I was short one, which I need to take with me. And you see it goes to my inventory. You watch it just drops right out in front of me like I didn't grab it. And so I, yeah, I needed that to make, I think it's one more computer chip. Or was it? Okay, yeah, I need two more. I need gold. I'm still short gold. On this I sacrificed the one gold I found so I could finish my scanner but you see it just drops on the ground in front of me it's so weird it did that when I was collecting it to this last time I picked it up and I saw the pieces just fall like they fell out of my hand which was so odd okay so public service announcement do not do like me and forget to save because my game crashed completely I lost everything so I have now doubled the amount of work I was doing earlier so I could get this back to this point and just to get the first piece of the sea truck made. So yes, make sure you save because this update has definitely introduced a lot of performance bugs as well as the bugs with certain items like the table coral samples. So it's definitely something to be a little bit more cautious about and save often. But here we are. We have a sea truck at a... Uh, it's definitely a little bit more modern or, you know, space age top looking than the Seamoth. 
uh, little propellers on the side. We've got a power cell that sticks up and well, it says a power cell here, but I don't see a power cell sitting there. And then we got this uh, attachment thing, like an umbilical thing here, uh, which is supposed to be modular so you can add pieces to it. So you can't just build in it. And I did have to rebuild everything here. So I am short one multi-purpose room like I had. Whoa. Okay, that's interesting. And look at that. It's... it's all right, so there's a bug with the scanner room screen because that's the scanner room and apparently there is a backup camera Probably to help with the fact that you're backing up to a modular piece and connecting it that way Let's go ahead. It's very quick very fast Boom haha, <laughs> and it didn't take any damage. So that's good This makes me feel almost like it is meant to replace the sea moth in a way uh, give you basically not something that goes between Seamoth and Cyclops, but more of a replacement for the Seamoth that lets you expand on it and make it into something that leads up to the Cyclops kind of thing. Okay, I'm going to just kind of park here next to this little spot for now. And let's dive again. Oh, two more fragments. Okay. Oh, yes! Fabricator module fragment. So maybe this is another one right here, and I hear something like kind of hissing at me. Storage module fragment. Oh, I, I still won't read the text, but then there's something like, it's like a snickering type of almost laugh behind me. Storage module fragment. Good, so I actually have storage. That definitely makes me feel like I can't build inside. Like, I'm not going to be able to say, here, throw a, a locker in this. Uh, more lithium, diamond. I'm grabbing all this stuff as I find it, because I'm sure I'm going to need it. All right, fabricator module fragment. So at least we know we'll be able to make stuff while we're on the go. And this is going to finish that off and unlock it. There we go, yep, okay. Can I find anything else out, uh, before I have to go back for some fluid intake? And storage module fragment. No, 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 let me out, out, out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, so do not let yourself get pulled in to that. And I lost belongings. No, I did. Oh, oh, that sucks. Hey, I found my place that I died. No, oh, get off me, get off me, get off me, get off. So yeah, I died here and uh, all my stuff is still here. Let's see if I can scan that. Yeah, I already found another module for it. But okay, I'm back where I was, and all my stuff's still there, you know, but I, I can't exactly get it because I don't know what to do about that thing. It just, if I get too close, I, I either have to reverse or get to eaten again. As bad as I die, not by squid shark, but by that thing, whatever it is. Another one of those things. Oh, oh, no, 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 get off, get off, get off, get off. Reverse. Ugh. Yeah, I do, I do not like that. So I have been all over this place. I have pretty much drained the power from my, uh, sea glide. And all I keep finding are module fragments or, well, the storage and fabricator module fragments. I haven't found any other module fragments than those. And I keep finding sea truck fragments. And the game has crashed again on me. So this is becoming a very uh, difficult episode. <laughs> Definitely the most difficult episode so far of the game because I'm just running into so many issues. So just getting inside, it knocked me off the little ledge here and into the water. So it's a very buggy, uh, buggy, buggy update. And I still cannot heal and do repairs to this thing while it's docked. Seriously? Oh, I can if I get to the back of it. Okay, so I've got the option to build the modules here with this on the, you know, uh, mobile vehicle bay. So I need more lead. <laughs> plastil ingots. I don't think I've actually had to build anything with the plastil ingot yet. Okay, so I went ahead and added another multi-purpose room. And I'm already starting to get leaks which are very, very badly implemented right now. Also, it caused the lights to flash. Like, not lightning flash, but like, 
on and off type flashing, but I don't know how well that translated on the recording. And you see, yeah, it's it's springing leaks in the same spot. So, oh yeah, see lights are flashing on and off like I'm getting power flickers, which is a nice touch. But uh, yeah, now I'm gonna have to worry about reinforcements, which I did get lithium finally, so I've got stuff for reinforcements. I guess I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, where where can I put that reinforce? Oh, I can't do it there because that stuff is on it. We'll do it right here because I'm not building any window there. I know that. Okay, so I can only afford one of the modules right now. And while I would like to be able to make stuff as I go, I think the storage module is a lot more important right now because I can bring stuff back. So we're going to make the storage module. And since it's over here, I'm assuming I'm not going to drive it over this way. And that means I've got to come here and get this. And I'm also thinking about the fact that obviously I cannot dock this with the modules necessarily uh, attached to it. It also seemed to have bugged because it stopped charging. I just noticed that it stopped charging. Maybe something to do with me uh, repairing it. All right, let, let's do this. Uh, all right, so backup camera. Oh, good. It didn't make me have to get that accurate. It actually, like, oh, yeah, automatically locked. And, okay, it does not let me out right now. It doesn't just dump me into the water. The disconnect modules, and we've got this. Okay, so lockers. How much storage do we have? Six. That is not much. Six. Uh, okay, nine. So, yeah, we've got a total of, that's 18 between the two of them. That's 12, so you've got 30 spots of storage there, plus another eight. So, 38 spots of storage. And we can exit through the back or exit out the top. And so, if I exit out the back, yeah, same look. So, it's got that little umbilical connection, kind of like with a subway car uh, is what it makes me think of. So, let's try docking now. See if it actually even bothers. Wow, it does. It takes that one in, and there it goes glitching my head out. And uh, it doesn't show the module on it. So it actually dumps. Okay, so it automatically causes you to disconnect the modules, dock to charge, which means these apparently do not need to be charged. Uh, they just feed off the power. I mean, we got some kind of emergency lighting. This obviously is not using power because it's just storage. But that makes me think the uh, fabricator module would be independent with no power, just like emergency lights. And then when you reconnect, you use the power from the actual C truck. And it says charging, but it shows only 97%. And apparently it automatically reconnects and then we get this weird animation thing of me climbing down into it so at least they did think about the fact that it that make it easier for you to get in and out even with the modules connected so you don't have to think about that every time and now it just glitched hang on definitely a buggy update okay let's get connected uh there we go yes i'm connected uh, i'm thinking right now make sure you probably just should disconnect on your own because you may have it where it start, it gets you into a loop of reconnecting over and over. Just go like, all right, I'm going, I know if I go this way, this is the way it's going to face. So I go ahead, I slit here, I disconnect the modules and then drive on in like normal. And then I just have to back up into it. And I feel like there should be a hotkey, some kind of hotkey in order to make it where you can like, reach over and disconnect without having to let go of the steering wheel kind of thing in case of an emergency because obviously it goes a little bit faster with the seat truck by itself and that's glitching through everywhere ah oh and another thing i was going to make that's flashing like my power is going out i was going to make the scanner room hud chip before but i don't have any magnetite so i need to find magnetite there goes my power flickering again I wonder if that's a an effect caused by lightning that is causing it to like invert because yeah we do have that so it's lightning I guess the flash it makes it seem like the lights are dimming out afterwards 
Okay, so this is unfortunately got to be it for this episode. I've gone about three times longer than normal recording because of all the problems I had. Uh, so I will be working before next episode to get more parts going and have the fabrication module as well as go do some more exploring again see if i can find any more modules available in that area or in any of the other new areas maybe find hopefully a vehicle upgrade station that we might have available uh somewhere so i can start doing maybe some mods for it because there are four mod slots on the sea truck so i really like to see what we get especially probably having some kind of depth upgrade module which would be great maybe an efficiency module or solar charger something like that it'd be nice to go ahead and see that but I also need to get some uh, battery charging going in my base, so I've got to go get some supplies. But that is it, like I said, so thanks for watching this episode. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit that like button, leave me a comment below, and hit subscribe if you haven't done so already. As always, I'm your host, Mr. Spicy. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to keep it spicy this week, and I will see you in the next video.